the reason why reasons why tell telion that which is complete cannot mean perfect as many contend in first corinthians 13 10. and why people have bought this desperate idea desperate idea I hang out to something's unique they can heal people they can give you word of knowledge they can uh, do all kinds of miraculous prophecies of course a lot of times they'll quote in king james english and re read the bible I go, okay, let me get that straight. And they open up the, I open the King James Bible and it makes them leave. See, you're just quoting the Bible. And why, I, I like the NASB. And they leave. Well, you, you're blaspheming God. Wow. In any case, <clears throat> the partial provision of my understanding of the church age doctrines is compared to the complete provision of the church age doctrines through the completed canon making full understanding available in the future for the church age believer so we want to know what do these people I wish I went in the first century and listened to these people I don't they're quoting a couple of verses here and a couple of verses there a few things here I got Matthew Mark Luke and John in the epistles and I can read them and study them I have to memorize what they quote and it's incomplete it's not complete now I got the complete Bible now it's up to me to study and show myself approved I don't have to wait for some guy to come around tomorrow and give me the rest of the story. You wonder about that. You got people with spiritual gifts, but and they might start it off to this one or that one. And I wasn't home that day. I was out hunting or something. I don't know. Uh, and and I, I didn't get the story to get through. That's nonsense. I want the completed Bible. Much better. Quali quantitative, not qualitative. Tell Tolian must have the same quantitative connotation. Hence, both etymologically and the proper exegetical considerations argue emphatically against the meaning of perfect for totalion. Verse 10 does not point to Jesus Christ. The word totalion, that which is complete, which is neuter in gender and is contrasted with and replaces that which is partial, does not point to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is always referred to in his person and scripture in the masculine gender, and who would not merely be referred to as complete, but more as perfect, which is outside of the context of this passage in 1 Corinthians 13. When it says partial, then complete. Not partial, then perfect. Furthermore, the context refers to a partial impartation of knowledge via the miraculous spiritual gifts of word and prophecy, which was to cease when the complete impartation of knowledge comes. Now, I'll give you a, a little a sample of my pa uh, term paper. I'll give you the complete one Sunday. Evidently, this knowledge was information about Jesus Christ and the doctrines now contained in the 27 books of the Greek Bible, since such would be legitimate new revelation from God in the first century. Remember, 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, there were more than, than one letter. There's hinted at uh, Paul wrote before this. So there are three letters. How come we didn't get that? God gave us what we need to get. If you, if you, when you finish with the 66 books of the Bible and you want to investigate the Apocrypha, let me know. But give me about two or three lifetimes. So, this message has in view the immediate audience of the Corinthian believers and all believers of the first century A.D. when this event is to occur, which eliminates the concept of our Lord's return centuries later. When was the New Testament completed? A number of years later in that same century. Verse 10 does not point to the millennial age or eternity future either, as some contend. Although there are indeed passages which refer to a period of time and age in the neuter, even neuter gender, even utilizing forms of the word teleon, tell us, let me write the word gender in there, telos, spent by grammar, telos in 1 Corinthians 15, 24 and elsewhere in scripture. These passages refer to an end of a period of time at which time our Lord will appear, the rapture, millennium, eternity, future, and do not fit the context of contrasting in chapter 13 with the partial, with the partial revelations of God's word through these gifts. Which, that which is complete revelation, not perfect. Nor can Totelian be the millennial age which revives the sign and wonder gifts through complete pouring out of the Holy Spirit. Joel chapter 2. Upon all mankind, not just upon a few as in today's church age. You can't keep twisting scripture. Cherry pickers. Compare Joel 2, 28 to 32 for complete details. There you go there. Joel chapter 2, read it. 
refer also to Matthew 24, Ezekiel 39, and Ze Zechariah 12. Furthermore, the millennial age has imperfections and incompleteness of its own and therefore would not be referred to as teleon. At the end of the millennium, Satan is loosed from the lake of fire and the unbelievers of the world rebel once more against our Lord Jesus Christ, total insanity, to their own destruction. So we don't have the complete age there or there. Our eternity future must also be ruled out primarily because that which is complete as opposed to the partial is in view which the eternal age or state which is perfect in quality is far more than that which is complete which the context is looking for. <coughs> context, context, context. Okay, what about verse 10? Cannot be the completion of the body of Christ since the context is looking for a source of completed revelation and not the full complement of church age believers. Rapture comes New age. We actually finished the two weeks of the seven years of the previous age, the, Jew, the Jewish age of the Mosaic Law. Thereafter, millennial rule. Anybody in the millennium, left in the millennium, that is an unbeliever, not in a resurrection body, they become millennial believers, not the church, and not part of the body. Of, not part of the body that that was going through the law Mosaic age. So it is also true that subject of nearby 1227 is the body of Christ, which is indeed neuter, neuter certainly not complete until the end of the church age, punctuated by the rapture of that body. Nevertheless, the context is looking for the completed counterpart of the partial instruments of God's revelation to that body of Christ so that it can be edified and not the completed body of Christ itself. Furthermore, the partial gifts evidently have had hundreds of years of non-expression while the body of Christ continues to remain incomplete, as evidenced by the rapture being yet future. So evidently it is not the completed body of Christ, which is to replace the complete and incomplete ways of revealing church age truth, but the completed canon itself. Now, I, I was born in 1942. I'm so glad I had a Bible to study when I was 17 and on. Imagine if I was born in the first century. Where's the rest of the Bible? Who's this Jesus? I got some, my neighbors talking, and a few people over there went to church with, I don't get it all. I got it all. Of course, you're held more responsible than that you have it all. Verse 10, major fact, focus, time-wise, is the time span of the Corinthians to whom Paul was addressing. Furthermore, the Apostle Paul is admonishing the Christian Corinth, Corinthian saints in their present time not to misuse the, misuse the sign and wonder spiritual gifts of the word of knowledge and prophecy and to view with them with a perspective that they are incomplete in their nature and will be placed in their present time. What was complete in their present time? Jesus hadn't come yet, but the Bible did. The New Testament Bible, the Greek Bible. That which is complete. If the miraculous gifts that the Corinthians were being admonished for abusing were to cease far beyond their lifetimes, the strength of Paul's immediate admonishment of the Corinthians' abuse of the gifts would be very weak. Hold on, let's wait till the complete comes. In their lifetimes, since the purpose of prophecy and knowledge was as a partial revelatory gift relating to the church, those doctrines which were being written down at the time, at that time in the epistles and gospels, then the most immediate replacement for such revelation was right there within the lifetime of those first century Corinthians, the 26 <coughs> books of the Greek Bible. Imagine, you're in the first century, and you hear about this new Bible, you know, they have to copy it and relay it and go to the synagogue, your local congregation meeting, and, and tell what the new stuff was. And we're coming around, we got the book of Mark and, and Luke. We don't have Matthew and, and, and John yet. And, and you're waiting for it. When I was a kid, I had the whole Bible. So these, if these special gifts that Paul has stipulated in his letter to the Corinthians were ordained by God to continue beyond the lifespan of, span of the Corinthians much more than, nine, more than 19 years, more then they could not be described to the Corinthians as a temporary gift relative to their own concerns to which the Apostle Paul was addressing. Oh, it's not going to be available until 1900 years later. Consider then, since these, there is predicted a time when the sign and wonders gifts will cease, and since they have to cease with the revive in their own lifetimes, but it didn't, and since they will revive during the millennium, 2,000 years later, then the only time available for the gifts to cease is during the present age. Right? The present age of the first century. Of the first century. Because the perfect comes along the completed Bible. When the completed 
Greek the Bible, this Bible 266 books was available. Imagine being so, you had this spiritual gift and you couldn't wait. You got the partial knowledge here because of your spiritual gift. The Holy Spirit worked for your neighbor or somebody else further down the road and you had to piece it all together. Now all of a sudden, it's available. Let's go to church. Some guy got a copy of the whole 66 books of the Bible. And you rush to the church and you get the whole thing. And the only Bible replacement would be the testimony of God through the 27 books of the Greek Bible written during the first century of the church age. I would say together with the 29 books of the Hebrew Bible. I hesitate to say Old and New Testament because Old and New Testament is not printed, not in the original texts, the manuscript evidence. People just decide, well, the New Testament is the covenant that God will make, not yet, promulgate and ratify in the lives of the Jews of the next generation. When Christ comes again, we'll all believe in Jesus. Coming, that begins the millennial rule. We won't be here. We'll be with Christ coming in his second coming as part of the body of Christ. We married him in heaven. Co-rule with him through eternity. That's our destiny. Objection. Objectors maintain that the completion time of the scriptures coinciding with cessation could not be in view in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 nor in Paul's or in the Corinthians' minds. The concept of completion and cessation is in the text in 1 Corinthians 13. Dr. Thomas goes on to say, Objection. The context says nothing about the completion of scripture. Response. Here is another superficial objection. Completion is in the context. Note the four occurrences of ek meros in part partial. That requires an opposite completion. Have you completed your homework yet? No, I'm partially done. Well, bring it down and bring it down for dinner. Let me see. But make sure you get it done before you come to dinner. Okay. It brings down the completed homework. Not the perfect homework, the completed homework. And 13.10 and 13.12. It is not a matter of completions not being in the context. It's a rather a question of the completion of what? The phrase from 1 Corinthians 13, now we see but a poor reflection in verse 12, speaks of obscured, limited, incomplete, prophetic revelation and knowledge. Verses of face-to-face, -face, unobscured, complete, with all the gaps filled in, written body of the mysteries of the whole church age scriptures. <clears throat> and there certainly were mysteries in there when you read especially Paul's epistles. Verse 12, therefore, does not speak of seeing God face to face, which would be a more of a qualitative condition that is inappropriate to this context, suggesting absolute perfection rather than completion, thus violating the context. This would break the continuity of the earlier part of the paragraph where revelatory gifts are in view. Many, see, everybody wants to hold on to their gift of tongues. They want to be special. What is not in this context is a contrast between perfection and imperfection. It is not talking about a qualitative set of conditions. One guy came up to me while I was playing my vowel trombone in the church band, church orchestra. And he said, Bob, I was jealous of you because you're the worship leader, you're in the church band, and, uh, and uh, uh, you're, I respect your knowledge of the Bible, but now I know I have something you don't. They go, what? Why do you, I'm glad what you have, but why are you so jealous of me? Well, I just have tongues. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, he said. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Yeah. I go, well, I'm anointed just as you are. He goes, what? I said, I put valve oil on my trombone, valve trombone, just to make a joke out of it. You don't joke about stuff like that. Well, you know, you don't speak tongues to have something somebody else does. If you have speaking tongues, you speak a new revelation. By that ceased, you better not speak new revelation right now because you're going to be uh, in question of whether or not you're on your full deck. The Bible, the, you just go and master the 27 books of the Bible and let me know when you're done with that. And then we'll talk about speaking in tongues. The concept of completion coinciding with succession of revelatory gifts is a precedent from the times of Israel as indicated in the Hebrew Bible. Robert L. Thomas goes on. Paul knew of an earlier period when God spoke directly to his prophets, a period that had come to an end with the prophets Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi, being followed by the 400 years.